Hello everyone, this is Aish Jushi and uh, again I am here with you on HEYS. So today uh, we are going to discuss a brand new topic that is delimitation exercise. What is delimitation exercise and uh, uh, why it is in news, why we are discussing here. So let's have a look towards. President of India has approved the delimitation in north, some northeast states and Jammu and Kashmir territories. So here, this is the important point that where delimitation is processed or approved in northeast states and Jammu and Kashmir territory. Okay, so what is delimitation? What is delimitation commission? How it works? And let's have a look on all these things. Okay, so delimitation is a process of fixing limits or boundaries of territorial constituencies in the country or a province having a legislative body. So here it is uh, to be uh, noticed or we can say you have to consider it that it is a process of fixing limits. Here we are going to uh, bound some limits or we can say we are creating some boundaries. Okay. We are fixing some limits and we are fixing some uh, boundaries for whom for territorial constituencies in the country or a province having a legislative body. It is important that all those countries or province that are having legislative body will be under this process or under this commission. Okay, The process is assigned to a high power body known as delimitation commission or a boundary commission okay so it is established by the government of india under the provisions of the delimitation commission act it is tasked to redraw the boundaries of the various assemblies and lok sabha constituencies based on a census specified in the act in this act there are some census that are specified and on uh, on basis of those census here it is the task to redraw the boundaries of the various assemblies and Lok Sabha constituencies. It is high power body with its orders according having the force of law and protection from being questioned before any court. Okay. So here it is important you have to remember this and you have to notice on it. Uh, here what it is? It is a high power body. Okay, with its orders having the force of law and protection from the being questioned before any court. In if you are going through any question or uh, you are going through any court for any question, then this law will, this high power body or law enforcement will protect you from that particular situation. Okay, these orders come into force on a date to be specified by the president of India. The orders are laid before the Lok Sabha and the respective state legislative assemblies but modifications are not permitted. Still, here it is important that still modifications are not permitted. Now the orders are laid. Okay, the, these are laid before the Lok Sabha and respective state legislative assemblies but modifications are still not permitted. So, let's go through the next when has it been constituted when it has been con constituted till now till now there are four uh, this is the four times when this delimitation commission was constituted when the first one is in 1952 under the delimitation commission act 1952 after that in 1963 under delimitation commission act 1962 after that in 1973 and last it is uh, it is in 2002 in 1973 when it was uh, commissioned or constituted it was under the commission or under the delimitation act that uh, that was 1972 and in 2002 when it was constituted under the delimitation act 2002 okay which reason will be used or will use census 2011 union territories of Jammu Kashmir will be the only reason to undergo a delimitation exercise based on the population figures recorded in the 2011 census. Okay, you have to notice 
that here we discuss two uh, particular sections that is north eastern states and jammu and kashmir but here the census of 2011 will be used by jammu and kashmir only okay so the latest readjustment of boundaries of constituencies in other states and uts has been done on the basis of 2001 census and the 2031 census in the future the future census will be 2031 and the past census will be 2001 for other constituencies but for jammu kashmir it will consider by the 2011 census census okay let's have a look why will it be carried out what was i mean what's the motive and why we used to carry it out so the delimitation exercise based on census 2001 was done in all north east states in 2008 except four states what are these assam manipur arunachal pradesh and nagaland these states were excluded from delimitation exercise because okay wh why we accept uh, or why we leave all four these four states only i mean we have included all these states but we leave all these four states why the reason behind this there are three reasons the first one is threat of the unity and integrity of india okay the second one is threat of the peace and public order and third one is threats of proxy wars and terrorism okay so these were the sensitive zones that's why assam manipur arunachal pradesh and nagaland were excluded at that time at present there has been a significant improvement in the security situation and a reduction in insurgency incidents so these four states are these four sections or we can say northeast states are uh, like some sensitive zones so if we are implementing in all over india then there this was important in 2008 to accept all these four states or to uh, i i mean we can say to uh, give a, a chance to do it in future so they excluded all these states and then now we decided to go for it because it is okay to consider four states at a time that are in sensitive zone okay so at present there has been a significant improvement in the security situation and a reduction in in insurgents you see incidents so the delimitation exercise will be carried out in these four states along with jammu and kashmir okay so it was the session that we have discussed delimitization and you can go through you uh, the pdf will also be available on our channel of uh, telegram or we can say uh, youtube channel or some instagram you can follow us on a uh, in the name of achieves so this was the session that is important for your exam that uh, what are the two states or what are the two sections where the delimitization process has been uh, we can say implemented the answer will be northeast states and jammu and kashmir okay so and the second thing is census what we are using what censuses are used in jammu and kashmir delimitization then the answer will be 2011 okay we have discussed here see you can see here uh, we used the census of 2011 okay in jammu kashmir and in other sessions uh, or other sections uh, we can say other states or union territories we use the census of 2001 as the basis and future for 2031 census okay so this was the delimitization of countries or states or we can say delimitization exercise thanks for watching this was ashish joshi and again i'll be here with you with a brand new session as soon as possible bye bye